generous helping of Arnold Fishkin's base. Blended with Tommy Kay's guitar and flavored with the drums of Maury Fell. The melodious mixture of theme from the trumpet of Al Mattigliano. Hank Benico's tuneful clarinet. Topped off by the harmonies of Buddy Weed's piano. And that's the recipe for good listening. Yes, it's the music of the Buddy Weed Sextet. And now here's the man himself, Buddy Weed. Thank you, George Hayes. And to all you nature, bird, and music lovers out there, we're glad to have you aboard. If you're curious about the introduction, I'll explain it. Our intrepid musical arranger, Al Datz, had himself a rather large weekend. He went out into the open country. He watched a bird called the Bob White skitter across some of that open country. He took the tune by the same name and set it up for us here in the sextet. And here it is now for you. Al Datz's arrangement of Bob White. supplied by our Baptist friends. Well, it's solo time now, and specifically our Matliano solo time, so Al, if you'll pick up your golden trumpet and blow us a few notes on Cole Porter's tune, I've got you under my skin.
Idaho with... I've got you under my skin. Well, there are, or so the latest word has it, seven days in the week. There's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. There are six of us in the sextet, and I'm going to sing, which makes seven in the tune. Well, it's the same as the seventh day. It's Sunday. <laughs>
I've got my love to keep me warm. You're listening to the fine sound of the Buddy Weed Sextet. Stay tuned now for more of the Buddy Weed Show. Continuing in just a moment over most of these stations. We'll return to our program in a moment. But first, I'd like to talk to you about housekeeping. Recently, a woman was interviewing a prospective maid and asked her how she was on light housekeeping. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am, said the young lady. I never kept a lighthouse. I admit that's an old joke, but it generally gets a laugh. However, housekeeping is no joke. That's a job from which no one can escape, whether he lives in a house, an igloo, a military barracks, or a governmental building. Yes, housekeeping is a very important job, even in our government. Someone has to see that the plumbing doesn't leak, that electricity, oil, and coal aren't wasted, that the garden is kept in good shape, that the animals are fed, and that the people have a place outdoors in which to enjoy themselves. Actually, all these governmental household tasks are the work of the Department of the Interior. The biggest job of the Department is conservation, the protection of the things that make our country a good place in which to live, the land. Water, oil, coal, forests, minerals, fish, and wildlife. These are our natural resources. If it weren't for the conservation work of the Interior Department, before too long, all the farm and grazing lands would be washed or blown away, and all the wildlife would disappear from our fields and forests. Another important job of the Department is the development of new natural resources and the caring for our national parks where people are free to go sightseeing or set up camp. And during wartime, the Secretary of the Interior has a special job, namely making sure that sufficient oil and other fuels are available to our armed forces and defense industries. Yes, our governmental housekeeper, the Department of the Interior, has a most important and vital job in maintaining the comfort and welfare of every citizen of the United States. Now we've got more of the Buddy Weed Show, and here's the man with all the notes, Buddy Weed. George, how does it go about the female of a species? Something about a, a dame being more deadly than a guy? Well, it could be, not that... Not that I want to make any generalizations, mind you, but every once in a while there is a gal whom it's better to dodge. Now, here's the trio doing some fancy stitching on how to stay clear of a designing female. It's entitled Dodging a Divorcee.
tongue-in-cheek number way back called Let's Do It. I'm telling you the title so that those of you who don't have a scorecard can tell what's playing. Although we do stick pretty close to the melody on this tune, we may fool around a bit with it on the second chorus, but I give you my solemn word, every once in a while you will recognize the original melody of Cole Porter's Let's Do It. It's our turn to tell you privately about Hank Jones, a very well-known piano player in the jazz scene today. And just to give you a sample of the kind of music he makes on the piano, have a listen to his solo version of Have You Met Miss Jones? Thank you. 
Hank Jones' album, Have You Met Hank Jones? The tune, Have You Met Miss Jones? This time it's Garucha. Latin American dance rhythm, of course. Not all. Not that you need to be told. The music explains itself. All we do is translate. Attend Amigos El Mondanguero. Looks like that's about it for today, but we'll be making more music for you at the same time. Until then, for the Sextet and myself, this is Buddy Weed saying, see you then. The Buddy Weed Show has come to you through the worldwide facilities of the United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service. Thank you.